And if you bought four dozens oranges at rupees twelve per dozen, and two dozens at rupees sixteen per dozen. So one dozen for twelve and one dozen for sixteen. So char dozen bara rupee per dozen. So overall uski jo price hogi that is forty eight rupees. Uh, for four dozen or two dozens for sixteen, so that cost him thirty two rupees for two dozen. Now, total he has six dozens for how much? Eighty rupees. Now he wants. To earn a profit of twenty percent, so twenty percent profit should be. So this eighty rupees, the twenty percent, or we can do one twenty over hundred. That will be the selling price. So this becomes ninety six rupees. That is the selling price. Selling price of six dozen. Now, ninety-six by six. So the price is sixteen rupees per dozen. Answer is third. Amit bought a radio set and spent one ten on its repairs. He Then sold it to B at twenty percent profit. B sold it to C at a loss of ten percent, and C sold it for rupees one one eight eight at a profit of ten percent. What is the amount for which he bought the radio set? So we assume radio set was bought for rupees X. He spent one ten. On repairs, so उसकी cost price में एक सौ दस रुपए add कर देंगे तो उसकी over actual cost price आ जाएगी. So Amit को उसने uh, X का खरीदा और एक सौ दस रुपए उसने उसपे खर्चा किया repairs में. तो उसने B को बेच दिया बीस percent profit पे. तो अगर हम इसको one twenty over hundred कर दें तो हमने इस price को twenty percent से increase कर दिया. B sold it to C at a loss of ten percent. So, ये जो price आएगी, इस पे उसको दस percent loss हुआ. So that means इसका अगर ninety percent calculate कर लें, तो वो ten percent decrease हो जाएगा. Then C sold it for rupees one one eight zero at a profit of ten percent. तो उसने इस पे एक सौ दस percent का profit, sorry दस percent का profit लिया, तो एक सौ दस पटा सौ कर देंगे. तो जो final price उसने receive की, that was one one eight eight. सो so, अगर हमें ये x की वैल्यू कैलकुलेट करनी है सो so हमें क्या करना पड़ेगा सो so, x प्लस वन वन जीरो इक्वल्स टू वन वन एट एट इंटू हंड्रेड इंटू हंड्रेड वी कैन सॉल्व दिस इक्वेशन हेयर सो मच एंड दिस बिकम्स थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेल्व नाइन एंड हंड्रेड एंड टेन सॉरी एलेवन Twelve, nine, and eleven. Now, if we solve this equation, this will be one zero eight. If we solve this, this will be twin. Uh, sorry, twelve. And if we solve this, so we get one. So we are left with thousand equals to x plus one one zero. सो so, x की जो वैल्यू है वो होगी 1000 थाउजेंड माइनस वन वन जीरो सो जो हमारा आंसर आ जाएगा दैट इज एट नाइनटी थर्ड आंसर रहीम बायस मैंगोस 
at the rate of 3 kg for rupees 21 and sell them at 5 kg for rupees 50 to earn rupees 102 as profit he must sell to Rahim mangoes ko kharita hai 3 kg ke 3 kg uh, 12 rupees pe uh, sorry 21 rupees pe to jo cost price hogi of cost price of 1 kg so Rahim mangoes purchase karta hai 21 rupees ke 3 kg to jo cost price hogi of 1 kg mangoes that will be 21 by 3 and that is 7 rupees or wo sell karta hai 5 kg for 50 rupees so selling price of 1 kg jo hoga and that is 50 by 5 equals to 10 rupees so overall uh, there is a profit of 3 rupees per kg so <coughs> Rahim wants to earn 102 rupees as profit so 102 rupees as total, total profit so if we divide this with 3 so jo hume answer milega that is 34 so usko 34 kg sell karna padega because per kg wo 3 rupees earn karta hai to wo kitne kg sell kare ki usko profit a jaye uh, 102 so uh, 3 se divide kar denge yahan pe so question mark ki value a jayegi 102 by 3 so answer is 34 that is our answer second answer Ram purchased 120 rims of paper at rupees 80 per rim. So the cost price of 120 rims equals to 9600. That is 120 into 80. He spent 280 on transportation. That is the transportation cost. Uh, paid octroi at the rate of 40 pesa per rim. So now we add octroi that is point 40 uh, for sorry 40 pesa per rem uh, point 40 into 120 so that will be 48 and paid 72 to Kuli 72 rupees to Kuli If he wants to have a gain of 8%, he must be sell, uh, what must be the selling price for rem? So what is the overall cost price? Zero. 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 Ten. 10,000 is the cost price, overall cost price of 120 rems. Now he wants to gain of eight percent. So we'll take ten thousand. We'll increase this value with eight percent. So answer is one zero eight double zero. This is a selling price of uh, one twenty rims. Now if we divide this with one twenty, so we get. Ninety rupees. Ninety rupees. So the selling price per rim should be ninety rupees. First answer. Ajay bought fifteen kg of dal at the rate of fourteen point five per kg. So fifteen kg of dal at the rate of 14.5 per kg and 10 kg of the al at the rate of 13 rupees per kg what is the cost price overall here the answer is 130 and here 15 into 14.5 so we'll take it as 15 minus 0 0.5 so 15 into 15 is 225 and 15 into 0 0.5 is 0 0.7 7.5 so we'll subtract this value 5 7 1 
0.217.5 so what is the overall cost price so this is 0 0.5743 this is now cost price twenty five kg three forty seven point five uh wo mixer ko sell karta hai fifteen rupees per kg ko per kg pay so sp of twenty five kg at the rate of fifteen equals to so 25 into 15 so that is 250 plus 125 and that is 375 so 375 is the selling price so what is a profit so 375 minus 347.5 so that is 5 7 2 so 27.5 that is a profit answer is fourth I hope this helps you